I'm obviously meeting you guys at the, uh, the first time and some a couple times before and everything, but there is something that I want you to know. It is from the heart, and uh, I feel very privileged to be here, and I want you to feel that. The first time I met Paige, Paige was in my studio. We're doing MMO, and uh, she's cruising around. She's a little bit, and I said, oh, did you hurt your knee? No, I've got a couple tumors. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know, kind of threw that one at me. And what, I guess what it really should be, you know, there's adversity out there and stuff, and it's just how you go forward from there. And I think this is a great showing of support, and I, I'm going to tap into it, I guarantee you. I'm going to do my part. The thing I want to also say is, especially within today, you know, I get excited, I get fired up, but in this exercise arena, take care of yourself, all right? If you're not a runner, don't worry about it. I got your back, all right? You have some joint integrity issues, all right? I got a bad knee, and I'm doing some ballistic things out there. Make me aware of it, and I'll give you the modifications, okay? The other thing is, is um, let's just have fun with it. Okay. Bring your water bottles and stuff. We're going to go down to the grass first and everything like that. So make sure you have a water bottle and stuff like that. There will be ramifications, though, today. I have one rule of thumb. As we're exercising, if your feet ever stop, all right, as a group, we are down for 10 pushes. <laughs> now, let me tell you why. It's not just because this bald head of Bruno is fired up and everything. What it is is to keep that blood flowing throughout your body, all right? Now, if you start feeling, hey, I'm getting dizzy, queasy, nauseous, or anything like that, make me aware of it. But I just want to make sure that you're always moving, okay? Um, let me see. I, I told you I loved you. You're awesome. <laughs> All right, hey, really quick. I got to go back to Gina for a second. All right, I've been in the field for about 17 years, and I want you to know that it's my passion. I, I live it. I love it. And I'm lucky enough to have a beautiful wife that allows me to be a lunatic and stuff like that. So, um, but Gina is one of those people, you know, you have your, your prize pupils and stuff. And Gina, you know, just took it to the next level. We were talking earlier about somebody who just doesn't go to the, the exercise program, does the exercise, and then, well, wait till the next time. You know, you've taken it to another level, and, you know, that, for me, is what, uh, what I'm in fitness for, to see somebody take it to that. Because I can't touch these people, you can, you know, and I think that's very empowering. And I might, if I had a hat on, it'd be off to you. Yeah.